हेलो एवरीवन आई एम स्वाति जिंदल फ्रॉम इन वी इंटरनेशनल स्कूल टुडे आर टॉपिक इज कंजंक्शंस कंजंक्शंस आर द वर्ड्स दैट कनेक्ट वर्ड्स फ्रेजेस एंड सेंटेंसेस सो कंजंक्शंस आर दोज वर्ड्स व्हिच एवर जॉइन द सेंटेंसेस वर्ड्स और फ्रेजेस देयर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कंजंक्शंस नंबर 1 इज कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शन नंबर 2 इज सबऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शन एंड नंबर 3 इज कोरिलेटिव कंजंक्शन so let's talk about coordinating conjunctions coordinating conjunctions they are used to join words or group of words that are equally important means coordinating conjunctions are those words that are equally important means they are not depend on each other the each and every sentence has its own meaning but the thing is that they are equally important for example raman likes football and cricket would you like to eat now or after a while means it is okay with this sentence that raman likes football and cricket undoubtedly this sentence is complete in itself but this is connected with would you like to eat now or after a while so means these are two sentences which are equally important now the second one is subordinating conjunction it is used to connect group of words one of which is dependent on other so subordinating conjunctions are those conjunctions that are depend on others for example imran is happy because his grandmother is here now they are asking the reason why imran is happy undoubtedly the sentence imran is happy is complete but this is still depend on other sentence that why imran is happy so imran is happy because his grandmother is here so subordinating conjunctions are those conjunctions that are depend on other conjunctions now the next and the last one is correlative conjunctions correlative conjunctions always appear as a pair and are used to link equivalent sentence elements for example both asha and prem found the book very boring means they always equally appear as a pair these are said to be correlative conjunctions thank you stay home stay safe